Hello everybody and welcome back to some more early access Brotato. We are going to be jumping in again to the second episode and I am indeed recording this again straight after the first. So we're just going to jump in from where we left off onto the next character, the Ranger. So this guy, we're going to start off with extra critical chance, a lot of extra range. We start with pistol, um, one pistol, all range damage. Modifiers are increased by 50%. You can't equip melee weapons or max HP modifiers are reduced by 25%. Wow. Okay, so this guy's really good, but he's got some risky stuff about him. Wait, to start with whatever gun we want. Pistol's probably the better choice. Yeah, it does a lot more damage. Let's go with pistol, and then we, we'll take no modifiers. Ooh, we got a really nice background here. So we're going to have a lot of range, as well as quite a good amount of damage. So we're going to be wanting to take range damage modifiers whenever we can as well. We're just going to jump in and see if we can get past. I think our max wave so far is... Either 12 or 13. I don't know, um, like, uh, what wave you get a win at. I think it's 15. Um, we'll take harvesting early on. And... We'll take attack speed. Hmm. Um... I'm not sure what to go for here. Let's take a slingshot. Why not? I can just, we can take the medicine gun as well. We got it all. We got it all. I think the more guns early on, the better. If you can get up to six guns in the early waves, it makes them a lot easier. We are still playing with manual aim here. It seems to be going well for me so far. I'm sure a few of you think it's probably better to play with the default uh, settings on where it auto aims for you. But I'm liking it right now. We'll see how it goes. Nice. This guy does start with very low HP. That's something, something we're going to have to think about. Right now, I'm just going to take a lot of damage, though. Um, we'll take that and we'll lock that in. I did want to try and do, like, a full medicine gun build, so I'm interested to see. At the moment, though, we're in a situation where one hit will put us down to a single HP, so I think that's going to be a little tricky. We're going to have to up our maximum HP quite significantly, at least double it, Um. Probably triple it to feel comfortable. <laughs> and considering all of our max HP multipliers are uh, reduced, that's going to be a little tricky. But in these early waves, we don't have to worry about it at all. I'm hoping we can get some extra pickup radius as well here. Missed out on the tree. Damn it. Life steal for elemental damage. I'll take that. Uh, we'll take more damage here. We'll take some luck. We'll take that medicine gun. Um, yeah, we'll take some life steal over harvesting here. And so far, like, HP regen-wise, lifesteal-wise, whatever, with our medicine guns, we are uh, we are sitting pretty. But we can't take all that much damage, so at least at the moment, that isn't actually all that valuable to us. We'll see what we end up getting out of it, but yeah, at the minute, it doesn't really do much for us. But we are killing stuff very quickly right now. I really like this background. You can actually select the which backgrounds you want or put them on random. Right now, I've just kept them on random, but I do like the idea of being able to choose what you want for your uh, backgrounds. Is the sling bouncing between enemies? I don't know if that was exactly what I saw there, but it seemed like it. Uh, extra luck, I'm going to take that. Um, medical turret, I'll definitely take that. Pickup radius, we definitely want that. We'll keep going. I like the medical turret. Again, it's pretty useless until we actually get some max HP. But we're, we're kind of in the in the position of preparing for the late game. Early game, I think you can take a lot of damage. Uh, you can take a lot of damage upgrades and then move into your HP upgrades as you get later in as you need them more. Right now, it's unlikely I'm going to be getting hit much just because our weapons are uh, pretty damn strong, to be honest. Really doing a very good job. Let's go get that tree. Yes, extra item. I really like the ability to find items during a, a run, during a wave. That's really cool. And we got a very good one as well. Uh, plus range damage or even more luck. I'm going to go with even more luck, to be honest. Pick up radius and harvesting is really good here. We don't need more range. Um, I'll lock that in. That seems pretty useful. And we'll save up some of our money here. So we're up to the charging guys now. We got some of them. But as you can see, we're one-shotting them, so I really don't think they're going to be that bad. Normally, these things would be the enemies that kind of cause me a lot of trouble. But considering we're able to pretty much one-shot them reliably, I don't think they're going to be all that bad. They can still sneak through every now and again. That's certainly a slight concern, but I think for the most part, we're going to be able to handle them pretty easily. 
I don't actually know how much damage they do. They could one-shot me with the current HP I have. Certainly plausible. Okay, let's go up, up, up and try and get these trees. We got them. Ooh, no way. I lost that run. Okay, let's go, let's go back with this guy again. Uh, this time we'll take the SMG. SMG is weaker, but we do start with a pistol as well. And the SMG, of course, does fire a lot faster. Does a single SMG shot kill these guys? It does. Okay, that's pretty useful to know. I didn't expect that. Obviously, his accuracy is pretty low. We don't really mind. Beautiful. Wave complete. Let's take range damage here. We will take another pistol. We'll take that. I'm going to lock that in because I think the reduced speed thing is very useful. I can't, can't believe a lot of these enemies are dying in a single hit from an SMG here. Kind of makes me reevaluate how valuable damage is in the early game, <laughs> to be honest. You don't need much of it. So we're one-shotting most of these guys. Taking the SMG seems like the best way forward. Of course, it will fall off quickly. But right now, I'm liking it. I really love the noise when you pick up little these little bits. Um. Hmm. Gain a level. Okay. Um. I could maybe take engineering and try and play into that a little bit. We'll take that. Take that, and we'll lock that in. We should lock both of these in. Actually, they're both really good. It's good on the pistol front now. I'd like to get, like, a really, really, really beefily leveled up SMG. I don't know what, what sort of damage we'd achieve with that. I don't know where we'd end up sitting at, but I feel like that'd be really, really strong. Right. It's going beautifully so far. Still, my HP worries me a bit. And that's always going to be the, the starting problem of pretty much all the characters. There's probably going to be a few beefy characters out there, but a lot of them it's going to be... Trying to get HP early on is going to be a little tricky. Ooh, a rocket launcher. I'll definitely lock that in. So let's buy... No, sorry. Let's buy both of these. Lock the rocket launcher in. I really like the rocket launcher, so I'm definitely going to take that. I think we're in a really good spot now. We've, we've got bonus XP there as well, which doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal, 15%, but we've got it pretty early on, to be honest. So I think 15% over the course of all these waves is going to be pretty darn useful. I am curious to see what some of the late game waves end up showing, because we still haven't really seen them yet. Uh, the last few waves are probably going to be quite treacherous. We already know that wave 8 is kind of like... Oh, hello, what are you? Oh my lord, lots of XP and a crit. That's really cool. Um, Dodge and harvest, I'm just going to recycle that. Go range damage. I think we already took some engineering, so I'm going to take even more. Grab that. Plus three knockback is a hell yes. I'll lock that in as well. Knockback saves my life so often in this game, so I'm definitely going to take plus three knockback. So the one thing about our rocket launcher right now is we're killing enemies too quick for the rocket launcher to actually hit anything. Um, but when the enemies start to group up and stuff, it's going to be pretty good. Hey, another item. Goddamn, we're getting lucky with items, to be honest. I think... Next wave, things start to heat up a little bit, so the rocket launcher should come and use another item. Holy, we're getting really lucky with our item drops. I didn't even take that much luck. I think we do have a bit of extra pickup radius already. Good, good. Burning spreads to nearby enemies. I'll take it, and then I'll recycle that. Uh, I'll definitely take the dodge here. A lot of extra harvesting. Um, okay, if you buy it, it directly, it directly upgrades. I didn't realize that was the case. Grab that. I'll take the harvesting as well. Why not? Okay, good. Yeah, I think this is the wave where things are going to start hotting up a little bit for us. Got the dashy boys coming in. But I think our damage is real good right now. Like, real, real good. Come on, group up. You know you want to group up. Do it for me. Beautiful. Give me more crates with more items in them. 
They're proving to be very, very useful. Okay, careful of these guys. God damn, that is so satisfying when you rocket launcher and just kill like all of them. Um, let's take range damage here. More engineering. I realize we haven't actually, there you go, I was about to say, got anything that works for engineering yet, but we'll get some stuff. Well, there's one. Um, let's combine two of them and buy that. Good, good. Yeah, so the turrets, it's going to be pretty good, but like not crazy. The 14 damage isn't all that much. It's two shotting the, the basic guys. But I'm hoping if we can get like a bunch of those turrets, it's going to be real good. If we get like four of those dotted around the map, even if they're just dealing a little smidgen of damage, it's going to soften everything up. And it also means that any enemies that are spawning near it kind of get automatically taken care of, which is really nice. This is going swimmingly. Nice. 4% HP regen. Let's take the look instead here. We got another rocket launcher. Awesome. We'll uh, recycle that and buy that. More harvesting. Okay. This is this is our strongest we've ever been damage-wise, but similarly, we're uh, incredibly weak health-wise, so... It comes and goes. I don't think we'll be living very long. I think we'll be able to make it through this wave, I'm pretty sure. But I think past this wave, things are going to get a bit tricky. I'm pretty sure these big guys can one-shot me right now. I think they do 12 damage. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think they do about 12. But I think two rocket launcher hits kill them. So we get two of those in quick succession. I'm trying to pick up as many of the bits as I can, but I'm, I'm not over-focusing on it, if you know what I mean. I feel like if I get too hung up on, on making sure I make the most out of this, I'm going to end up killing myself. Um, more engineering, more max HP, here's a turret, here's some pickup radius, here's some armor, good stuff. Healing turret, very, very effective, like I said, especially once we end up getting a little bit more, um, a little bit more max HP, but for right now, pretty good. This is the wave that I think is going to be a tricky one, just because this wave is like a bombardment of enemies. Like, it's a lot of small guys. The big guys don't spawn until later in the wave. But there's so many of them. Like, look, look at my health already. I'm trying to, to stay near the healing turret. But I think the fact that I'm trying to stay near the healing turret is what's getting me hurt so much. It's okay, it's going okay. Managed to get a lot of the materials there. Our money is in a really good spot right now. Dodge could be pretty good. We might want to take dodge. There's a better shotgun, which we can't buy yet. Recycle that, buy the better shotgun. There's a better pistol. We'll lock in that rocket launcher. I think this is where we die, to be honest. Our, our maximum HP is just not sufficient enough for us to survive this. I wouldn't say. I think we really need to stay near a medic turret again, to be honest. It's a little bit of a tricky spot. It's not in a great position. But it's, I think it's the only thing that's going to keep us alive. I mean, obviously not getting hit would keep us more alive, but I, I have to say I highly doubt that's going to happen. The rocket launchers are huge right now. Nah, we're dead, we're dead. This is it. 
Oh my god. I don't know how I survived that. This is it. This is it. This is it. Holy. Oh my goodness. How do we survive that? Oh my god. Another rocket launcher. Can I can I really do this? Is this a bad idea? Oh, there's a medic gun there. I really should have taken that. I didn't realise. Um yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to try and get to the next wave, but I don't think that's gonna happen. These big guys are tough. But the rocket launchers, the the high amount of rocket launchers we have right now, could carry us through. We have to be extremely accurate with them is all. Luckily, the, the high amount of knockback we have as well is helping. Yeah, there you go. The, those things deal 15 damage in a hit. That was a lot of fun, though. Uh, let's go back and do a new run with a new character. The Mage. Elemental damage. All of the damage is increased by 50%. Attacks have a 25% chance of applying burn. Less melee... Uh, sorry, less range damage and less melee damage. Kind of interesting. So... We want to take one of these, don't we? Uh, I guess I'll take the torch right now. But the fire damage is going to be the thing that really hits. As you can see here, 12 fire damage. But this thing only deals one on actually hitting the enemy. We're going to need as many of these as possible. But definitely um, elemental damage seems like a fun one. Seems like a really interesting build to go with. This guy again starts with only 10 HP. A little bit on the lighter side. Go with luck early on. We'll take the Lightning Shiver for a bit of range, the Taser as well. Now we've actually got some range to go with here. We don't have to rely on melee entirely. I want to, like, see if it's possible to get, like, six of the same level three weapons. That would be absolutely awesome. I don't know how easy that would be to do. Maybe, maybe like, with a pistol it'd be okay. But I still think that would be really tough. We burnt that tree down. Lovely. Yeah, I want to just take luck early on. More tree spawn sounds really good. And then another one of those. <laughs> Look at our little bushy head. I like it. Yeah. Elemental weapons are doing just fine. Maybe elemental damage is something I should try to work into like all my builds. It seems like just having passabilities like burn things and stuff could be really, really good to just work into a lot of other builds. Trying to move around a lot because we have tree spawns increased, so we could find some trees that I don't expect. Uh, max HP, we'll take that. Trees die in one hit is a perfect combo, but we've just got. Max HP, I'll lock that in as well. God damn, my character's looking awesome. But yeah, more tree spawns plus trees die in one hit. Very, very good combo. I'm hoping it leads to much more items. At any rate, I think it is it definitely going to give us some healing. I think it gives you um, some level up points as well. I keep wanting to call them rads because they look like rads from Nuclear Throne. But I don't think that's what they're called in this. There's some trees there. Beautiful. There's another tree as well. See if we can get it before the time's up. Just about. Take some harvesting, take some movement speed, take that, we'll re-roll see if we can get anything better. Another taser there, we'll at least lock that in. We've not seen any elemental damage modifiers yet sadly, kind of really what we're hoping for at the minute. But weaponry wise and damage wise we're doing okay. Trying to build up my max HP a little bit, a little tree here. I really love that one-hit tree kill. Super useful. I wonder if there's any items where, like, excess healing does anything. Like, I wonder if you can, like, overheal with any items. That'd be pretty cool, because there's always, like, excess food about. 
Well, not always, but a lot of the time there is. So it'd be cool to have some way to utilize that. Maybe it just gives you some more money. Or overheals you, like I said. We'll take that. We don't really care about range. Um, dodge, we'll take that. Shoot six alien eyes around you every five seconds, dealing nine damage, 50% each time. Minus two elemental. Ooh. No thank you. Um. Okay, that seems good. So this piggy bank could be good for saving up. I was mentioning that in a... I can't remember if it was earlier this episode or in the last episode. I'm recording these back to back at the minute just because... I really want to play this more of this game, so I'm just recording a lot of it. Preparing for my holiday, so I'm just backlogging. Which means a lot of recording, but it's also a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so the piggy bank might be kind of a good reason to save stuff. Like, we've got another one of these guys. These guys are a little tricky because they pay out pretty well, but at the same time, you have to focus fire them and it kind of takes your focus away from the enemies that are hounding you currently. What we need is some ability to spread our status effects. I don't know if there's anything that can do that for us, but that'd be really good. 35% more um, from recycling items. Take. Max HP, good. Speed is nice here as well. Even more trees. We've got two of those now. Uh, we could grab another lightning shiv. Take that as well. I like the idea of double more trees. I wonder how lucrative that's going to end up being. We'll see this wave, won't we? We are on wave 7 now. Wave 7 should be fairly easy. Fairly straightforward. Next wave that really starts to pick up. Surprise! I was going to say, surprise no trees yet, but there's one. Oh god, that's a lot of trees there. Holy hell. Yeah, this is a lot more trees, holy. This is really good. That's going to be super useful. The lumberjack build. Ooh, turret, definitely. Um, that's an incendiary turret as well, which is really nice for us. Extra dodge. I've not, like I said, I've not really played dodge before. Uh, we'll take that as well. We'll take another one of those. So 10% chance of doubling the value of materials and extra luck. Max HP... Plus 5% more enemies is a little bit tricky, but it's only 5%. I don't imagine that'll be too bad. This is a flamethrower turret. This is going to do elemental damage. So we definitely want to stay around this. But at the same time, we don't want to stick around it too much because there's going to be trees all about the place. Giving us extra money, extra items. Nice that you can see the trees when they're about to spawn in. We don't really have any consistent healing right now, which is a little worrying. It's taking us a while to get our health back. I mean, we kind of have consistent healing in the fact that there's trees fucking everywhere. Oh, there's one of these guys. Hello. Okay, that was a bit tricky, but we got there. Life steal. Oh, we don't want to take elemental damage down there. Um, plus luck. Okay, nice. We'll reroll this as well. Circular saw. That sounds awesome. But we will take a torch. Harvesting. Good, good. I don't know about this build. It seems decent, but, like, not amazing. I really want to do a proper full-on engineering build. We did try one, but didn't quite get there with it. I'd love to really see one, like, proper go crazy. I'm trying to stay, like, really close into the enemy's face so we can set them on fire, but I realise that might be slightly counterintuitive to enemies that dash at us. Especially big boys. But we do kill them very fast when we play that way. And it also stuns them as well, which is nice. 
my god. Wave 9 is a bit of a crazy one. Oh god, we took a lot of damage there. We need to look for a tree. One problem that I just thought, okay, for one, I healed as I died. One problem I'm noticing is I don't have the pickup radius to grab the health. I keep destroying the trees and not actually grabbing the, um, not actually grabbing anything. Anyways, let's do another run here. Um, we could go with Chunky. 20 max starting HP. All max modifiers are increased. You start with one rock. Minus damage, minus speed. Ooh, okay. Maybe I'll go with the Cacti Club this time around. And the Cacti Club seems pretty good. I wonder what the um, little spikes count as. I'd, I'd assume they count as range damage, but they might count as melee. Because I'd love to, like, beef those up and make them really strong. Uh, pick up radius is something I want right off the bat every single time. Everything else I'm pretty good on. Okay, this The only thing about this Cactus Club is it is incredibly slow. Our movement speed is definitely something we need to correct immediately. Because we are just fast enough to stay away from enemies. But with the slow speed of hitting, it's not really great for us. In fact, we're not fast enough. I thought we were, but we're not. But we start with an insane, insane amount of max HP. Which I very much love. And I think we want to go for HP regen and lifesteal here. Um, trees die in one hit is something I'll always take. Let's go with that. 1% damage for every 1% speed you have. Minus 20. Thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. We would literally lose damage for taking that item. It's not even like it wouldn't add any. We would actually lose damage. Yeah, I'm thinking this guy, we go with as much life steal and life regen as we possibly can. Because life regen is percent based. Which means the higher we get that, the, we, we are going to become pretty invincible. Yeah, I think the Cactus Club was a good choice. Good. Life steal. Life steal. Little worried about my current damage output. I don't think it's great. Cactus thing is good. We need a bit more than that, really. I'm hoping the, the, the shiv gives us a bunch of materials. I don't know how lucrative that's going to be. Good. I'm actually too slow to catch up with these dudes that are shooting. It's very annoying. I'm kind of just staying in there with the amount of HP I have. Look. Pick up radius. Go with that. Yeah, we're not we're not in a great spot right now. The fact that we haven't managed to get our speed back yet at all is pretty bad. Yeah, because of groups of enemies like that. But, as I said, I think we have a good enough setup to where we're going to be healing a lot. So I don't think we need to worry about taking damage too much. Right, we're at 39 HP right now. 33. Okay, maybe I do need to worry about it a little bit. Holy shit. Okay, okay, no. I need to worry about it heavily. Fuck me. My speed. It's not enough, man. Holy. Okay, there's some speed. There's some more life steal. Take that. Lock that in. Lock that in. Go. I like the little scythe out of our head. It's pretty cool. But yeah, damage wise, things suck. Do we have any range damage? Just got melee and it's not great. And these things are too fast for me. I think the aim right now is just stay out the way of things, if it's possible at all, which doesn't seem to be. Oh, my speed is just so low. This guy's trash. The game was not designed to be played at such slow speeds.
Damn it, I didn't realize the trees only gave you three HP. I thought it was like percent based. That was bad. I did like barely anything that time around. Recycle, HP regen. Buy that, buy that, buy that. Our damage just isn't enough. We've got a lot of HP regen and stuff, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. With the, the like very little amount of damage we're doing. Trying to like group them up in the center and ride around them so they can't dash into me, but doesn't seem to be going too well. It's not going terribly, but they're not dying very fast at all. What is there any items that add iframes at all? We are at least surviving for the duration. Like that's not a that's not a problem. More life steal. Grab that. Grab that. Okay. Big guys, we've somehow made it to wave A on like I don't know what's going on. Feels like we've made it by pure coincidence. But this is kind of the, the opposite approach to what we've been going for. We're ridiculously tanky, but it comes at the cost of like the fact that we're dealing like no damage whatsoever. Nothing's dying. I ba basically, survival is all about just running around for the duration of the wave. But it just, this is, the problem with this is it means we get very, very, very little money throughout the course of the wave. Which means it's much harder to get out of the hole that we put ourselves in, essentially. My goodness. Yeah, we just got like, we just got like, no money. We've got so little money. Once those big dudes spawn the roly polies on round 11 or whatever it is, we're effed. I do kind of like this idea of just being able to stand like in the crowd and kill everything. And like stay at our HP stays pretty, pretty decent. Like, obviously we can't literally stand in the crowd, as you can see from my current HP. We can kind of do it. It's quite fun. The big guys are the problem right now, though, because you don't have enough damage to kill them. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. It's very risky, not feeling very uh, safe. This is a lot of fun regardless. I still need more speed. We didn't do too bad for money that time around. Landmines could be good. Don't think that does much for us. I think dodge would be pretty good. Life steal again. Boxing gloves good. That's good. That's good. I mean, we're locked into a melee build right now, but I don't want to be. <laughs> well, let's take a laser gun as well. The laser gun kind of bounces around a bit. It's kind of nice. Wonder if that counts as elemental or uh, ranged. I'm guessing ranged. Doesn't apply an elemental effect, so. Okay, so now we actually have something cooking. I think this is actually not too bad. We're able to kill stuff at a reasonable speed. We still have very low speed ourselves, which is problematic. But we're actually killing stuff at a decent rate now. And we're kind of able to get in there and survive. I think we're mostly okay. I say that as I take just an enormous amount of damage. Oh god, we've got so much time left and I'm dying very quickly. Okay, that was a bit tricky. Um, extra life steal. 
3% damage at the end of a wave. That's kind of interesting. Um, elemental damage and HP regen is pretty good. A rocket launcher is very nice. I think I'm going to get rid of my rock for a rocket launcher. And I think I'm going to get rid of these to get a new club. Okay, so these guys are the problem. They do like 12 damage a hit. And they are fast. Okay, 14, sorry. Yeah, and they are very fast. As you can see, my health is already terrible. I'm pretty sure we're dead. I don't think we can handle these guys. They're just too quick for us. Like, we are able to heal up a lot of HP quickly. A lot more than I expect, actually, but... I just don't think it's going to be enough to take care of these guys. We've got 23 seconds to try and survive. But we just need more regen. We're not getting enough regen at all. Yeah, unfortunately we're dead. That is a shame. I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. That was a lot of fun. Uh, in the next one, we're going to try out... Who are we going to try out? Um, old. <laughs> just called old. Minus enemy speed, better harvesting. Minus map size. Minus enemies and minus your own speed. That's kind of an interesting idea for it. Ooh, I like the idea of Lucky. That's going to be a fun one. We've got a lot of interesting ones here. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this look into um, Brotato again. And I hope you guys will join us for the next episode. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.